This intro is more of a teaser of what's going to drop in the next video where we're going to focus on alliances and all the awesome events that come with it like big raids, wars and conquering different star systems. Honestly, these are the things that got me hooked up on this game. So if you're like me and love playing online games that require coordination, require strategy and you love playing with the crew and grind for that sweet precious loot, stay tuned for the next video. What is up everybody, Scratch here, welcome to another Infinite Galaxy video. First, I just want to give a big shout out to Camel Games for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to help and support out the channel, you might want to try a new game. I will be leaving the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment so you can actually download the game and try it out. You can use promo code SCRATCHAK47 in order to get some free in-game loot. Now, let's jump into the main topic. Probably you've noticed... I haven't really made a beginner's guide on this game, even though I promised you more videos on the game, right? I think I'm going to take a bit of a different approach towards it. And I'm going to share with you the top 10 best tips that are going to give you a huge advantage when you start the game, guys, right? So it's going to be a very in-depth explanation of how to use some of the game's features, right? We're going to start with the very first thing, and it is pretty visible, but still... Not a lot of people will click on it. And it's the left arrow right here, which honestly is going to show you everything that happens in your spaceport. Is the main thing I'm clicking on when I'm logging in, right? Because I want to see, do I need to get some ships uh, that are already built? Do I got to build more? I got to repair anything. So if you guys see, we can actually collect our ships. We collected them all. Now we got to build more. We know we got to do that. Then we got to unlock the spaceship production line. So we're going to get to this in a second as well which again is a very, very important thing. You can literally see everything that happens right here. And this is a pretty, pretty easy thing to do, right? You can see everything that's uh, under construction, what exactly you're researching at the moment. Now, the next thing that I want to share with you guys, and again, is a thing that you probably are going to notice in a way or another, but probably you're not going to know everything that happens in there, right? Because you're new new to the game and a lot of things are still new for you. They might be a bit overwhelming. If you click on the right, the right thing right here, which is Depot, I'm going to try to move so you guys can see it a bit, right? You're going to find a lot of things in here. We have all the resources. We have a lot of resources crates. So if you're building something, but you don't have enough uh, resources, you might be missing a couple of uh, hundred thousands of something. Always make sure you come and check in here. If you have any crates, make sure you open them all and bang, you get some extra resources to help you out with the building you have the speed ups which you're not actually gonna have to come in here to use them you can use them in a different way you have the buffs for example if you're fighting an enemy and he's a bit stronger than you right but you think that you're super close on knocking down that enemy you come here and you find buffs right so you're gonna have either to increase the buff to increase the hp of your fleet to increase the attack you have the shield for your spaceport if you want to protect it so no one else can attack it you have uh, boosts to gather materials faster, guys. Then if you go right here, this is kind of like the important part. You have the Corium crates, which are the main currency of the game. You definitely want to keep an eye on that, especially if you're low on them. You find all the XP for the crew, for the ships. Again, you're not going to uh, require to use that one from here. We have the V points right here, guys. Again, make sure you're using them daily because you will be getting better rewards and you'll be unlocking a better tier in the VIP shop, for example, right? So I'm actually going to use all these 52. Bang. And we actually leveled up our v, uh, v point. And these are the daily rewards, how you guys can see. Credit. And from here, you get to use even more. Actually, let's use them all because why not? I don't need to stack them. They're actually stack them just to show you guys how exactly everything looks like. So we leveled up here, which is awesome. We're not that far from leveling up again. Then we have material crates, which again are very important in order to build weapons, guys, right? So let me just open that. That's crew training XP. Seems like I opened all the all the mat material ones already. We have the flagship design module. We can get flagships from here, guys. So let's actually open all 10 of them. See what we're going to get from here. Can we get some legendary stuff? So we got, we got a bunch of epics and we got 300 advanced... Uh, Federation credit, which is not bad. We got some good good blueprints here for some epic ones, which is 
not a, not a bad call whatsoever the next tip which is tip number three guys we're gonna talk about crew how to get free experience and what exactly it means to have a crew formation and how to kind of put them in there right so if we're looking at the crew overview when you come right here you see the crew has crew info which is kind of available only for the crew formation right so here you see what buffs you're getting if you're using this uh specific uh, crew member in the formation you're getting 7.6 percent uh shield off on warships then the next one is still locked because we have uh, we don't have the crew member on higher tier but you have the captain info so when you're checking the captain info at the skills you're actually gonna see the buffs you're getting if you're using this crew member as the captain of your flagship right which of course he needs to uh, the crew member needs to be promoted in order for that why you want to level up your crew the more uh, levels you have on your crew the more skill points you're gonna get for the uh, skill system right here as you guys can see i still have a lot of them to level up but i'm gonna show you how exactly to get free xp daily which is very important in order to get uh, to get more skill points right so if you go at your missions at the daily missions guys think about it like you can easily access everything that you gotta do so we're gonna have a look here let me just find it quickly for you use crew training course no defeat the training base two times so that's kind of like what it gives you crew experience guys and plus you're getting different uh, different rewards as well for it if you click on it it's gonna take you straight to what exactly you gotta do and according to the level you're gonna beat that's kind of is gonna decide how much xp you're gonna get very important to do daily kind of like everything from here is important to do daily in order to unlock this you don't want to miss on the last chest guys you're getting 120 federation uh credits the advanced ones this allow you to buy legendary blueprints for your um, flagships very important to make sure you're doing that now the next tip i want to share with you guys tip number four is how to gather materials and when to gather materials so if you go right here at alliance guys scroll all the way to alliance territory you're gonna see all the solar system that your alliance dominates owns right and if you go at alliance territory tax every day you'll be able to collect this the more the more uh, solar systems your alliance owns the more territory resource income you'll be getting but if you come at planet development right every single planet kind of has a bit of an energy system to it like you cannot farm it non-stop but whenever you're not online in the game you're going to work you're going to bed you're going to do your chores in the house or whatever always either come here and go to the planet right i'll show you a different way how you can access that and you come together and you come to lunch you see planet energy 224 we can load up to 500k out of this material we launch the ship actually i'm gonna put a different one now one thing that you gotta keep in mind with the ships now that we're on this subject actually the bigger the fleet on your ship the bigger the leadership for example the more you can actually farm how you guys can see it almost cuts in half right we have leadership 8500k load then we have 5000 leadership 290k load and this one we have 130 leadership we can only load 1.4k so if you have two flagships you have three flagships kind of uh, try to split a bit all the fleet in between especially if you're deciding to farm with both of them all the time right so i'm actually gonna send this one right here but then it's a different way that you can actually access this from here and the same with the uh, xp with the training base you can come and get it from here you have the simulation center as well all this kind of gives you resources xp so make sure you're trying to do to do all of this daily guys you can farm materials as well by not going at a planet actually you can go at mines so you see we don't have a six mine in this uh in this range here so we cannot uh, we cannot actually farm that but we can go for a smaller one i'm gonna go for the five one we definitely have it available and again you can go and gather again we can gather from here tons of resources and definitely a thing you want to do every single time uh, before you're logging out of the game right now the next tip i want to share with you which is tip number five guys is going to be the core modules right here it's very similar with the research tree right you're going to have to pick up different trees you want to go with development with commander with weapons kind of like the thing that defines your your play style now personally i like development i like to build a lot and then slowly fight my way through it so i went quite a lot on development now how you're getting the xp for all this right because sometimes it's just gonna pop in here you see this plus right here which is kind of behind me you can't really see it but it's down here if you click on it 
Look how much a core module chip XPU actually have stacked in here. I actually stacked this for the purpose of the video, guys. But we're going to use everything right now and see how many levels we're actually going to unlock. Tons. Bang. We will jump straight to uh, the next level. And of course, we got some loot while doing that as well. We got that as well of 5,000 each. We still have a long way to go to the next level. But now we have some more slots available. So I'm definitely going to go on weapons now. Because I feel like I'm at the point where I just want to fight stronger enemies. Better enemies. Increase the HP of Fry gets. Let's do that to max 5 there. And then we can move to the next one. I'm really pushing hard on, uh, on this. Especially the destroyers. That's kind of like uh, the main thing that I'm uh, rocking at the moment. And here... We can go on the HP of destroyers. Why not? Let's do it like that. So that's tip number five, guys. Definitely make sure you are checking out if you have a lot of XP here. Very important to actually skill up the core modules as well. Tip number six, guys. If we're going back to the main screen right here, you're going to find next to the ship building the repair, which we're actually going to have to repair some quick right here. Let me just start that on. And I got to build my ships as well. So let me go and do my, my destroyers quickly right you see we have this defense platform but it doesn't really show like how exactly you're gonna click on it well if you go right here guys you can actually level up the platforms as well and unlock more powerful weapons for your defense and of course you gotta research more to unlock another tier of weapons definitely a thing that you want to pay attention to you see you can actually change weapons on it as well to kinetic to laser to missiles this kind of, again, it comes in play together with the crew formation. If you're getting a good boost from there, what sort of weapon you want to use on a, on your uh, platform as well. You can upgrade it as well if you click right here. was just behind me. If you do this, like, actually, let's do it right now. Let me pop in some materials there. Because I haven't really focused much on upgrading this. Because not many people are coming to, to attack us at the moment. But hey, you never know when we're going to be getting smashed as well. So... Let's start the upgrade up and running. We're not going to speed it up right now, but that's kind of the way you're going to be able to use your speed ups using a single click and you get it done. So that's one thing that you really, really want to pay attention to. All the buffs, they get increased. Like you see all this huge increase in power just by leveling it up one more time. Now, the next tip that I want to talk about, guys, which is tip number seven, right? It's going to be all the way on the other side of, uh, of the main screen. And it's the Materials Workshop. A very sneaky place just hiding in there, right? Here, it kind of comes in play where you're gonna build up different materials. These materials are very, very important in order to build weapons for your flagships, right? So you just click which one you wanna uh, repair or actually create, more or less to say like this. And it takes a few hours to create every single material, but then... When you come to outfitting a flagship factory, you see all this material are getting used in order to build up different weapons for uh, for your flagship. Which I gotta I gotta build the legendary one as well. I'm still not hundred percent sure with which one exactly uh, I'm gonna go right. But a very important thing to keep an eye on the material workshop and see at the outfitting factory which material is more used, which one you're lacking, and start building that material in order to be able to build better weapons and upgrade the weapons of course in order to upgrade the weapons which i almost forgot to tell you you will have to actually click on it and upgrade and it takes it takes materials as well in order to do it so that's why it's a very important thing build materials guys don't just sleep on it the next tip that i want to share with you tip number eight let's just say you're going in a long fight you're doing some alliance events for example right and you're going to move to different star systems. You're going to fight far away from home. And then you got to have a, a way of quick traveling back home. Because you have the next event that's literally next to your star system. And it's much faster to, to start the journey from home. What you can do, guys. So this ship right here is farming in a different system. Right? So I'm going to go and find where the ship is. Right? There it is. What you want to do is actually go right here. And find a strong enemy that you think you cannot beat. So right now I cannot beat the blue uh, privateers 19. I'm getting super close to it. I've actually seen another one closer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that one. But it's a hard struggle. So we're going to select the ship that's in this system. We're going to come to it. You're going to lose the fight. 
And what's going to happen? You're not going to waste the energy. You're not going to have to repair anything. And it's going to send you straight back home. And from there, you're going to get to move wherever you want to move much, much faster. So this is a, a pretty sneaky tip as well, guys, to keep in mind. Like, you get you get a chance to see how I'm getting my, my ass kicked right here. They have 1 million power. I have a bit under that. If I would have some boosts, I showed you before you find them in the depot, I would be racking this without a problem. But I'm not using that at the moment. So I'm that close of beating it without, but I'm, I'm going to get wrecked, most probably. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm almost wrecked already. And look how close is the fight. Like, I'm on 160k, they are on 200k. But the main idea is, if you want to fast travel back home from a far, far away solar system, go and get your ass whooped and you'll be sent straight back home. Now, there are two more tips that I want to share with you guys. And these are kind of focusing more on how to get free loot. Very important as well. Again, I love loot. I'm playing these sort of games because I kind of like the loot system, right? The first thing I'm going to show you guys, if you go to incidents right here, okay? There are a couple of things first that I want to show you. So whenever you're going to use all this investigation energy, you're either going to go with auto explore, you're going to investigate, you're going to get this chest right here so this is once you explore 25 70 and 123 respectively you'll be unlocking this chest now the last chest right here actually gives you crew fragments for your crew members right so very important to come and do this as well you'll be unlocking this and like that you're gonna get to rank your uh, crew members and unlock better buffs for your entire spaceport one thing to keep in mind now if you go right here to discovery You'll be getting lots of loot and you'll be getting lots of buffs as well. You see, having all this atomic war destruction, galaxy bound, etc. Now, these things, they don't, they don't just drop in here. True, you gotta explore the solar system, investigate, and you're gonna slowly find them. But, for example, your alliance can find them for you and share the coordinates with you. So, how you guys can see, I literally have everything else shared that I gotta do. It's just taking me a bit of time. So, for example, you click right here. We're going to click on it and go and do it. Disabled uh, Stargate. Investigate. So, we're going to send our investigate ships to come right here. It's going to take 4 minutes and 28. We're going to recover the last piece. We might, we might have to do some sort of incident in order to get that done, right? We might have to send some crew in a small exploration mission or anything like that. But then, we're going to unlock that and unlock all these buffs. Warship build speed 2%, total warship HP 3% more, and we're going to get some loot on the side next to it. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about, the last tip, guys, if you go back to your depot again, and this event is, is actually running out right now, we have the Alien Spirit event, right? How can you actually get the loot from here? Now, if you go to your depot, you go to other you have these ones right here. You gotta collect one of them to fuse an alien spirit teleport beam, right? So let's do one of them. We're gonna fuse it. There we go, we got it done. And now we're actually gonna get to use this. So we're gonna use it. Bang, and it dropped just here. All my alliance can actually see it and join the rally together with me. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually gonna bring this uh, flagship right here and rally it for 30 minutes. We're gonna get lots of loot from here. So, for example, what loot you're gonna get? If we come right here to explore, I've actually done one before. And it should be this one right here. You see, we're getting materials, we're getting tons of resources, we're getting XP, we're getting speed ups. Literally, everything drops from there, guys. So, very important thing, do it. It costs you absolutely nothing, right? And all you gotta do in order to do it is click on it, open it up, and your alliance can actually join in as well and get some free loot while you're doing it. But it doesn't cost you energy. It doesn't cost you materials. You don't have to repair ships or anything like that. Literally just free loot sitting around. Guys, that was all for this video. I do hope that these tips, they're going to help you out. They're going to enhance your gameplay. Do let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more similar videos like this. And of course... Keep an eye for the next video that's going to drop. We're going to cover the Alliance events. There's so much fun and so much loot to get from there as well, guys. If you want to try out the game, don't forget to use my link that I have in the description down below or in the pinned comments. Thanks again to Camel Games for sponsoring this video. That was all for it. I'll catch you all soon on another video. Till then, peace out.